Hi, I'm Phyllis, SouthernFrugal.com. Well, it's late afternoon, going to be dark soon, and I'm going to fix some uh, chicken gumbo soup. It's going to be just like gumbo, except we're going to add more water. That's going to be more soup-like. So to get started, we're going to use, uh, I used one whole Hillshire sausage that smoked, and I peeled off the outward uh, little casing. I don't like that, it's kind of tough. I peel that off, and the way you can get it off really easily is to um, freeze it, slightly freeze it, and then just use a vegetable peeler and it comes right off. All right, so we're gonna get started. We've got a big pot here, and uh, I've got about maybe three tablespoons of oil in the bottom. And so we're going to dump our sausage in right to start with. And we're going to brown that a little bit. So this is going to take, I don't know, five or six minutes, and we'll be back. All right, we've got a little bit of brown on the sausage and a little bit of brown on the bottom of the pan. Now we're going to dump in three cups of uh, skinless chicken breast, and I did include some of the fat in that. And this, in, in my case, took two very large chicken breasts. And to be able to cut them up like this, you need to have them partially frozen, that way you can cube them. All right, I'm gonna dump that right in. Dump that right in on top of that sausage. Just breaking up some of that brown on the bottom of the pan. Alright, so we're going to let this cook just a little while. It doesn't have to be completely done. And we'll be back. Alright, we got our chicken for the most part done and the sausage browned a little bit. Now the moisture of the chicken uh, definitely took the brown off the bottom of the pan, which is what I was after. So this is the chicken and the sausage. All right, so now we're gonna add a little more oil to our pot. Got it getting heated back up again. And we're going to add what the uh, people in Louisiana call the trillage. Celery, peppers, and onions. So I'm going to put the celery in. That's two cups of celery, two cups of green bell peppers chopped, And two cups of onions chopped. All right, so we're just going to cook those down until the onions get translucent, and we'll be back. All right, we have uh, gotten our onions translucent. Everything's sort of cooked down a little bit. And so now we're ready to add the chicken and the sausage back to the pot. Mix all that up. All right. So now we are ready to add our spices. I'm going to sort of take these in order. All right, we're going to start out with one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. I'm just using an eighth of a teaspoon. Sprinkle that over. I don't want too much heat. All right. And now the next we're going to use a full teaspoon of chili powder. If I can get that a little bit off. There we go. A full teaspoon of chili powder. Just 
sprinkle that all around. And then next comes the garlic powder. And for the garlic powder, we're going to go ahead and use a whole tablespoon. Sprinkle that all around. And then next comes the onion powder. We're going to use a tablespoon of that. Now this is powder, it's not uh, onion salt or garlic salt. Alright, and next we're going to use a teaspoon of paprika. I can find my teaspoon. There it is. Sprinkle that all around. Next, we've got a kind of a surprise ingredient, ground cloves. And we are going to use one fourth of a teaspoon of the ground cloves. Don't want to use much of that, but it will make that uh, really southern Louisiana taste. So will the chili powder. All right, so we're just going to mix that up a little bit. Already smells like Louisiana. Now you can use, of course, fresh garlic if you've got it. You want to use right much too. All right, so next we're going to put in four cubes of chicken bouillon, and I've just dissolved that in about a cup of water. Pour that in. Mixed all around. All right. And the last uh, real spice we're using is bay leaf, and uh, we're going to use three of these, three bay leaves, and we will be taking those out once this all gets done. So I'm putting three in. And then and this was the uh, chicken bouillon I used, the uh, low salt. And you'll notice I haven't added any salt so far because I have to wait until everything gets done and check it. Okay, so next we're going to add two 14 and a half ounce uh, uh, cans of diced tomatoes. Just dump those in. Again, that's two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced tomatoes. Alright, mix that up. Remember to take your bay leaf out after everything gets done. All right, now, just to be sure we got a little heat, I'm going to add some Louisiana hot sauce, probably about a tablespoon. Just give it a little heat. Of course, we've got a little red pepper in there. So that's about a tablespoon of Louisiana hot sauce. Mix that up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add four cups of water. come up to a boil and then we're going to put some other ingredients in. So we'll be back. Okay, our mixture here has been boiling for maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So now we're going to add two cups of uh, okra and this is frozen. If you can find fresh, that would be better. So two cups. Come right in. And this is a cup and a half of green top onions, and I did get these out of my garden. Dump those in. And last, 
we're going to add, I chopped these things up earlier. That would be about a half a cup of chopped parsley. Dump that in. So now we're just going to mix all this in. And because this is soup now, if it was gumbo, we'd just make up a roux and thicken this, but this is going to be a soup. So I'm going to add four more cups of filtered water, and I'm probably <coughs> going to add a couple more cups before everything's said and done. But anyway, so we're going to let this come to um, just kind of a slow boil or a simmer for about 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, and we'll be back. But let me show you the spices again. All right, so hold on. I'll take you all off that and show you the spices again. Now, I'm going to list the uh, recipe below. There's the chicken bouillon. I used the reduced sodium. And by the way, I did taste of it. It might need a touch of salt, but not much. And there's the uh, cayenne uh, red pepper, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, bay leaves, and I did put three bay leaves in, and then here's the ingredient that makes it taste really like New Orleans, ground cloves. And of course I also use some Louisiana, I call it Louisiana hot sauce. That's really what it is. Okay, so there it is. All right, so we're going to let this uh, just come to a little slow boil. Whoops, y'all got fogged up. Let me back up. Yeah, there. A little uh, slow boil, uh, maybe 20 minutes or so, and I might add another couple of cups of water. Anyway, so when this is ready, we'll be back. All right, we are ready to eat our chicken gumbo soup, and I put a little scoop of rice right on the side of it there. And we've got some buttered French bread and our iced tea. Let me give you a close-up of the soup. There it is. Now, if you wanted it to be gumbo, you just wouldn't add all that water. Make yourself a little roux and thicken it up and you'd have just chicken gumbo. There's how much we've got left. And I'm going to freeze that. Now, I'm not going to put my rice in the soup because the rice will kind of disintegrate if I do. So we're going to freeze it like that and when we have it again we'll just have to have some more rice. All right y'all there it is and I will list the recipe down below and to see that you'd need to hit that show more button. All right another close-up. Mr. Bucky says he can't wait to have this. All right we'll be back. Bye.